Island Doobie here. What's the play for today? Well, today I'm going to be using some gel prints to make a gift. People often ask me, what do I do with all those prints that I make? Well, one of the things that I do with them is make gifts with them. And this is a really quick and easy one. Now, the reason why it's so quick and easy is because somebody else has done all the hard work for me. Well, anything that you can do with a piece of paper, you can do with a gel print if it's on paper. Because basically, you're making your own pattern papers in the colors that you love with the patterns that you love. So when I was walking through Walmart and saw these things, I knew in a heartbeat I had to put some prints in those. So what this is, is it's one of those tumblers to drink, except that this one has a secret compartment. So this is actually the cup part, and this is the, well, and that just fell on the floor, so it turns out round things do roll off of stuff. Anyway, so these things are, it. you can take them out, you can print off more. They're designed to be colored in that kind of thing. I don't want to color them in. I want to use a gel print and that's what this is going to allow me to do so that I can really customize these and give these as gifts. One of my favorite things about making my own papers with a gel press plate is that I can customize it to the colors that I want with the patterns that I want. So I'm going to be using the Scribble Scratch stencil here from Stencil Girl Products as I make this piece of paper. But because of the shape of the insert that I'm going to need to cut this out as to fit into the cup, I need the pattern to go all the way across the page horizontally. So you'll see how I solve that when I'm printing. So I've got a stencil that I put directly onto the jelly plate and then I put the paint on it. And then I'm going to brayer it around. Now anywhere that it looks darker, there's more paint. Anywhere that it looks lighter, there's less paint. And I really want this to be dark and I really want it to cover over it. And so that's why I'm adding more and more paint to this. I would like fairly heavy coverage just because I really want the light color to pop. So anywhere I'm seeing those holes where things are a little too light, I'm going to add some more paint to it. And usually I add a ton of paint, but for some reason today, I guess I'm skimping around a little bit on it. But now I've got enough paint on there, so I'm ready to take the pull. What I'm going to do is take the stencil away so you can see the image that I'm going to get right there. And then I'm going to put the paper on it, and I'm just going to take the print, take the pull. You know what I mean. And by doing it this way, it is the fastest way to stencil a large area by using a gel press plate. What that allows me to do is just get that paint all over it without me having to be well patient. So now I've got the print there, but notice how I've got part of the page that's not printed on yet? Never fear, we'll get to that one. But I don't want to waste all that pattern that's on there. That's gorgeous pattern. So I'm going to grab another piece of paper and simply take that print. And you might have noticed I didn't clean off my brayer. Well, guess what? I did that on purpose because I know I'm going to be doing another round of this with the exact same color. So to me, there was no reason for me to clean that brayer off. It's going to repeat the same process, except I'm not going to do it over the entire gel press plate. I only need that little bit, so I'm only going to stay on one side of the plate. I'm going to put the paint on there, bring in the brayer, and I'm going to repeat the exact same process that I did before, making sure that I've got enough for that spot, and well, clearly I even did a little bit more than that. But what's the worst thing that happens is I get to take more pulls and make more prints. Now to get this lined up, what I'm going to do is just hold my print back there so I can kind of make sure I'm in about the right place to put it on the line. Clearly this is not going to have engineering precision to it, but it will work perfectly well for what I'm doing here in making the print. So of course I'm going to get all that paint off of there on some other pieces of paper, but let's get into how to turn this into the actual gift. So there I've unscrewed the magical top to this, which I'm going to set somewhere where it doesn't fall on the floor, and they come with these inserts, and their intention is that you would color them in, that kind of thing, but that's not what I want to do. I'm going to use it as my template for exactly the size that I need to cut out. Now it's much easier to draw a pencil line on a plain piece of paper rather than on that pattern. So I'm going to make sure I've got it turned the way that I want it, and then I'm just going to hold that on, and then I'm going to trace around it with a pencil. I also, I give a lot of credit to, I think it was Cool Gear is the name of the manufacturer for these, because it's designed in a very forgiving way. You do not have to cut this with any kind of precision. Let me rephrase that. I don't cut with any kind of precision, and I didn't have any problem with this. And you'll see why when we assemble it, it's a very forgiving way to put stuff together. And you know me, I like things to be easy and not have to involve careful measuring 
or careful cutting. And if you'd like to know more ways to use a gel press plate or more things that you can do with them because the possibilities are absolutely limitless with these things, I have got lots of videos over on YouTube with them as well as over on my blog at acolorfuljourney.com. And you can see I just set the paper in there. It's even sticking up over the cup. It doesn't matter because when you screw the top part on, it's up there, nobody sees it. So the fact that I did not cut a perfectly straight line, nobody on this earth will know or even care. Then of course you probably want to peel off the sticker about it. And I will say for me, that was probably the hardest part of it was peeling off the sticker. This is such a quick and easy way to put a gift together for somebody that also has a handmade touch. Well, here are a few of the others that I've been putting together. And if any of the people that are gonna receive these see these, well, is the thought that counts right, not whether or not I invested six months into making a masterpiece. It's the thought that I was thinking about you and that I personalized this to your taste. Well, if you've been enjoying this video, I'd so appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up and you know I'd be grateful if you know of somebody that would enjoy this video if you shared it with them. Thanks so much for joining me today for the play and letting me be a part of your colorful journey. <laughs>